This is going to be my last Getting Started in Art 1280 video because we've already completed everything about getting started. That's module one. Module two is actually a new module and it's set up a different way. And so I just want to give you a little insight into that because you do have to complete it during the first week of the spring 2019 semester. When you're ready to do your coursework, you can know what you need to work on by clicking on the announcements tab and reading the weekly announcement. But you should also know what you should be working on because you've already printed that semester schedule. If you look at the semester schedule, it says that on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of the first week of the semester, you'll work on Lesson 1. So when you click on Module 2, it takes you to Lessons 1 through 5, and at the end, there is an exam. I would like you to read the introductory paragraph. It explains kind of the overarching goals of the module. And then each lesson, you'll see it's kind of like wash, rinse, repeat, and it will be similar. So the lesson will have these little detailed objectives. So we have those broad course level learning objectives and then we have a series of little ones and now they're broken down by each lesson. So in lesson one you'll launch Photoshop, you'll identify color modes. I already read through that on the syllabus. But it will remind you that's what your goal is for the lesson. Each lesson has lecture, materials, a skills practice, and a knowledge test and you'll see that it repeats. Every once in a while you'll come across a lesson like lesson five where it has a lecture and it has a knowledge test but it will not have a skills practice. That's because it's just a knowledge based lesson. You don't have to do anything. So for lesson five you're going to learn about what is a workspace and what is a preset and then you'll answer I think five questions about that. The same applies for like the preferences, le preferences lecture at the end of the semester. There's no skills practice associated with that. At the end of the module, you'll have what I like to call the finishing up area, and there's an exam. And so to complete the exam, you'll click on it, you'll start it, but at the end of all of the other modules, there'll be a project or two projects and the exam as you're finishing up activities. Let's focus on lesson one. If we open, I'm going to open these all in new tabs. They should open in new tabs anyway, you shouldn't have to right click. Your lecture materials will include a slideshow on the left and a recorded lecture on the right. The slideshow, if you click through, it reads more like a book than a slideshow. And so you can read it if you want to. I would put it in full screen mode. If you click on your announcements tab, there's an announcement that has a direct link to all these slideshows if you want to save them because you can't save them from the embedding. On the right hand side, all the videos are posted to YouTube so you can click on them and you can watch them if you want to. I recommend that you hit this little arrow in the top right hand corner and then click the link and it will navigate to YouTube and you can watch the videos and you can see like how many videos are in a playlist. When you're working on the lesson, so let's close out of this, there is a lecture, a skills practice, and a knowledge test and what I would recommend is I would do the lecture and the knowledge test at the same time. So the knowledge test, you get two attempts, it's a quiz in Canvas, uh, it has no time limit so you can hit start, I'll hit preview on my end. And you can answer the questions as you find them in the lecture. I would hope that you won't just skim through till you find the answer because you'll miss a lot of the, the skills based things that you'll need for the skills practice but we'll get to that in a minute. So as you find the answer, let's say that raster, I didn't even read the question, let's say raster is the answer to the first one and LAB is the question, the answer to question two. As you answer the questions over here on the right hand side, it'll put a check mark next to the questions you've answered. So like, let's say that the lecture is 70 minutes long, but you're only going to watch the first 10 minutes. You could answer the first two questions and then say, oh, I got to go to work, I'll finish later. You can quit out of the knowledge test. And when you come back to it, I don't think it'll work because I'm in teacher mode. But when you come back to it, it will know, yeah, well, online mine because I'm just previewing. Um, it will know that you've already answered those and it will save your answers so you don't have to redo them. And because there's no time limit, Canvas isn't going to time out and then submit your, your test. And so what I would do is I would either watch the lecture and then give the test a try and see which ones you get right and wrong, or I would do the knowledge test right alongside with the lecture. Now you get two attempts on every knowledge test. I would recommend doing it once and then if you don't get the answers, do not take it a second time right then. Come see me during office hours. Tell me which questions you got wrong. And I might help you figure out the answer if it's something that has to be calculated. Or I might help you find the answer in the slideshow so that you can get 100% on your knowledge test. There is no reason why everyone in the class can't get 100% on the knowledge test because you take it the first time and then you can come to me and I will help you find the answers the second time. But you have to come to office hours for that. 
Okay, the last thing you'll do for every lesson is a skills practice. And so the way it works is every lesson you're going to learn things, how to do them, format images and things like that. And you're going to practice them to make sure that you've achieved like competency in the skill. And then at the end of the module, starting with module three, there's going to be a practice where you'll say, okay, well, now I technically know how to make that selection of hair. How can I incorporate that into a project? And so the goals of the skills practice are not to show mastery right off the bat, but it's for you to post into a discussion thread and to see what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong and to use this as an opportunity to fix it or to ask questions if it's not working right. And so every skills practice will have an introductory explanation. What I've highlighted right here is the same on every single one, so read it once and then skip over it. And then you will either answer questions or you will do something in Photoshop and then like upload a screenshot or a picture of what you've done. So for example, for lesson one, which is intro to color management or color management 101, you must show that you're able to launch Photoshop. So you'll launch Photoshop and take a screenshot and upload it to Canvas or to the discussion thread. You'll download an image from our stock image website and you'll open it in Photoshop to show that you can open Photoshop, documents in Photoshop. You'll also change color modes. These are kind of really low level things and it gets more complicated, I promise. But you'll be able to show us that you can do that. And if you can't, let's say that there's four things you have to do for this discussion. If you can only do three of them, you can post those and then you can say, I don't understand how to do the fourth one, can you help? And if you see that somebody asked that, you as a student can answer, or I'll check it throughout the week, and then I will respond back to you. Every skills practice has a little demo video. I would caution you to jump right into the skills practice and watch these. These are not meant to be the do-all, end-all of the skills practice. What they're meant to be is a really quick, like fast refresher from the lecture. So do not skip the lecture and think that all the answers will be in the skills practice. I've also included, so you'll probably get sick of seeing these apples um, on every skills practice, I've also included um, instructions for embedding your images into the discussion thread. If you're having issues with your images embedding, watch the video, it is step by step and it explains that. If you're still having issues, you don't have to embed the images, you can just send a link. So to make a post, you'll hit the reply button at the bottom. And then instead of trying to get the image or the video to embed, you can just paste the URL and push the space bar and then hit post. And it will post your link. And because you hit the space bar, it'll become a blue and clickable link. Skills practice discussions are basically graded on pass or fail. You can only get one with three scores. You can say you get 100% you attempted all of the things. You can get a zero because you submitted nothing, or you can get a half point score if you did some but not all of them. So if there's four things to do and you do three of them, you still only get 50%. If you want all of the things, you have to attempt all four of the requirements. And the idea is not that you have to do it perfectly the first time, but you have to give it a try and so that I can at least provide some feedback to you on how to fix it before you work on your project. Okay, I think that I have been more than thorough on introducing the class, and you're probably sick of hearing my voice by now. So I just want to 30 second recap what I need you to do this week in ART 1280. You're going to make sure you log into the course and read all the announcements via the announcements tab. You're going to read the start here information, which will then direct you to the modules tab. You will read through all of the Module 1 information and complete all the required activities, which includes printing a copy of the semester schedule. And then you will submit activities 001 through 004. Once you're done that, you're going to work on Module 2 or you're going to start Module 2. Module 2 has Lessons 1 through 5 plus an exam, but they're not due this week. But Lesson 1 is. So you read through the Lesson 1 learning objectives. Participate in the lecture, whatever that means for you, whether you're going to read the slideshow or you're going to watch the videos. As a side note, there's more information in the videos in the slideshow, so I would recommend watching the videos. You will complete the skills practice and the knowledge test in whatever order you would like to, and then you will make sure you get those in by Saturday at midnight. If you have any questions whatsoever at this time or at any time during the semester, you can always email me, Jessica Curran, your teacher, through the Canvas inbox, or you can uh, 
you can attend my online office hours. So you can email me um, during office hours through the Canvas inbox, or you can use the chat tab during office hours, and I'll be logged in, and we can have a conversation in real time.